So what actually is Zookeeper? Apache Zookeeper is an open source centralized coordination service designed to manage configuration, information, naming, and synchronization across large scale distributed systems. Think of a team of developers working on the same project. They need a shared project management tool like Linear, which acts as a source of truth so that every developer can know what other developers are working on. Zookeeper acts as that shared project management tool, keeping everyone in sync, whether that be servers agreeing on who the master node in a cluster or services dynamically discovering configuration details. And so why is Zookeeper actually used? So as distributed systems grow in complexity, coordinating tasks between multiple services and nodes becomes challenging. For example, is if you have a cluster of microservices that need to agree on who the leader is, so a leader election scenario, in a consistent manner, Zookeeper can step in to provide a simple and reliable interface. Zookeeper stores its coordination data in a hierarchical data structure, so you can imagine a file system. And one of the core components of Zookeeper is its Z nodes. So Zookeeper's primary data units are called Z nodes, which form a tree-like structure similar to a file system's directories and files, where each Z node can hold small amounts of data, such as configuration information or state details needed by distributed applications. There are two key types of Z nodes. The first is persistent. These remain intact until explicitly deleted, regardless of if a client disconnects or a server restarts. The next is ephemeral Z nodes, and these exist only as long as the client session that created them is active. When the session ends, by the client disconnecting, the ephemeral Z nodes automatically disappear. And this relationship ensures that transient state information is automatically cleaned up if a client fails or loses its connection, preventing stale data from lingering in the system. Clients can also set watches on Z nodes, and this essentially registers interest in changes. So when data changes occur, Zookeeper notifies the clients that have watches set, enabling responsive and dynamic configurations. And finally, Zookeeper typically runs as a cluster known as an ensemble consisting of multiple servers. Among these, there's a leader, and so one server will act as this leader, handling all write requests. And by funneling all write requests through this single leader, Zookeeper ensures that updates are orderly, consistent, and serialized. And then the rest will be followers, and so they serve read requests directly from their locally maintained copy of the Z node tree, providing low latency reads. They also participate in consensus protocols led by the leader to replicate writes and to maintain a coherent, unified state. And so let's look at how Zookeeper actually works. So all the servers hold an in-memory copy of the entire Z node hierarchy. And when a client sends a write request, like updating a Z node to any of the servers, if that server is a follower, it will then forward the request to the leader. The leader will then coordinate with the followers to reach a consensus. And once a quorum confirms the update, the Z node data in every server's memory is updated, guaranteeing that the change is uniformly visible. So then if another client comes along, it can directly read from any server's in-memory Z node tree because all servers share the same synchronized state. And this architecture choice enables fast reads and effortless horizontal scaling by adding more servers to handle increased client load. The main benefits of Zookeeper include consistency, so it ensures that all nodes see a single agreed upon source of truth, fault tolerance, so even if some Zookeeper nodes fail, the service remains available, high performance, so it's optimized for reads, meaning distributed services can quickly fetch essential data, as well as simplicity. Its data model and interface are straightforward, encouraging best practices for coordination. And so let's look at a very basic implementation. So here we've got some Python code and firstly connect to a Zookeeper ensemble. In this case, it's just going to be a local one. The next step is then to create a Z node, if it doesn't already exist, to store configuration data. And in this case, we're going to create a persistent Z node with some initial data data. Next, we're going to read data from that Z node and then also print it. Step four then is to set a watch. And this is if we want to get notified when data changes to this Z node. And so we're using the data watch. Next, we'd also want to be able to update the Z nodes data. So we can use the set method there. And then finally, we'd also want to close the connection when the session is complete. And so this is a very basic implementation. In a production system, it would be a lot more robust, but hopefully this gives you a clear idea of some of the core aspects of the interface you'd be using when dealing with Zookeeper. Use cases include configuration management. So it centralizes configuration data for microservices. It's also used for service discovery. So it wants to identify available services dynamically. So if a service starts or stops, Zookeeper updates its Z node, allowing clients to see the current state of the system it's also used for leader election. So for systems that need a single master node, like a master database or scheduler, Zookeeper provides a recipe to safely elect one leader from multiple candidates. And it's also used for synchronization and distributed locks. So when multiple clients need to coordinate tasks and avoid conflicts, Zookeeper can implement a locking mechanism. For example, if multiple clients want to update a shared resource, Zookeeper ensures only one can do so at a time. 
for real world examples. So large scale distributed frameworks like Apache Kafka, Apache HBase and Apache Hadoop all use Zookeeper under the hood. And beyond these well-known open source projects, numerous leading companies like Netflix, LinkedIn and Pinterest leverage Zookeeper to power their critical infrastructure. I hope this gave you a deeper understanding of Zookeeper, how it works and what it's used for. If you got any value out of this, like and subscribe and share it with a friend. It helps the channel out a lot. And also if you want to see the most up-to-date technical interview questions and solutions, be sure to check out techprep.out. And hopefully I will see you in the next one.